Let's learn how we use assertions in test classes. On the left, we have a basic trigger. All it does is change every inserted lead status to new. That's all. The CEO of our company says every lead must begin with the new status, and this is imperative for our company's success. She tells you to personally see to it that this happens and says that even if the world is about to end, she wants to see every created lead in the new status. All right, whatever. On the right, we have a test class that we might write to get 100% code coverage on this trigger. All it does is insert a new lead, which in turn executes our trigger and gives us code coverage. Great. Now, while this test class satisfies all of Salesforce's requirements for deployment, the test class itself doesn't actually provide us any value. Yes, it provides Salesforce value, but really, let's be honest, if Salesforce didn't have a code coverage requirement, we wouldn't bother writing this test class. The test class doesn't even tell us if our trigger worked. It just tells us that our trigger ran. Big deal. Enter system.assert equals. Using this tool, we can compare expected versus actual values to see if our code actually works. Check it out. We know that even if the world is ending, our lead needs to have the new status. So we add an assertion that checks to see if this is the case. Now, not only are we getting code coverage, we're also finding out if our trigger actually works. This test class now has value to us. If our trigger doesn't work, I want my test class to tell me. That's exactly what this assertion intends to do. I hope this is making sense to you right now because this is critical. Okay, problem solved. Our test class now tells us if our trigger is working as expected. Let's run the test. What? Assertion failed? We expected the value to be new, but the actual value is null. That's weird. Let's investigate. According to the failure message, my lead dot status is null. According to our trigger, this is impossible. It should be new. And if I went into salesforce.com and manually created a lead exactly like the one in our test class, our trigger would work. What's the deal?